what's going on guys welcome back to walk through hq it is noon today we shall continue our campaign through battlefield one as we depart the skies and get our boots back on the ground with war story number three of auntie savoya as always we're jumping right into it Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad, take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. And we are off. It's war story number three, Avanti Savoia, as we assume command of Luca Vincenzo, a member of the Arditi unit. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. This hearing the story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Arditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. We are just decked out in a massive amount of armor here. The objective is to capture St. Anastasia Church. That's where we're headed. Hey, fully protected here. We're not going to take any shots to the clavicle today, none to the sternum. We got protection. Instead, we're just going to mow down a bunch of Nazis like we're mowing the lawn. Eh? Well, more like Austrians and Hungarians to be more precise, but you get the picture. Is that the best you got, huh? Not even putting a dent in this armor. I'm like the juggernaut. Hey, we had the British accent down pat in the last video. I don't know if I can attempt an Italian one. I don't know if that's in my repertoire or not. <laughs> 800 rounds is some serious firepower, though. I'm not mad about it. Target location acquired. I got eyes on the church, boys.
what was left after the flame troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. I'm just here to find my brother, Matteo. Alright boys, that was my Italian accent attempt. <laughs> Capturing church objective. Boys, I need you to line up in front of me and be the meat shield. What do you mean I got all the armor? <laughs> After the fight, we can get the pizza, huh? I'm daring somebody to come through this brick wall. Being for a rude awakening. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. New objective, assault the artillery gun. We go way up this hill, boys. Oh yeah, this was the wrong house to enter. It's the cover we deserve, not the cover we needed. Ah, that's what you call flanking 101, boys. Take notes. Huh, what the hell? Where is this guy? Oh, he's in the truck. Yeah, take care of my light work, boys. Torch his ass. Grazie. Matteo and the entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained. So I had to take it down. Got no shot, boys. Gotta make a move. Flanking. Gotta take out these MGs or die trying. Can't let them take out any more of my boys. We're going up for a pizza after. The fact that I keep hearing this clink and they're doing just minimal damage to me is just so sad. I can't even make killing jokes because to be honest I don't know if these are dead Austrians or dead Hungarians. Oh that was definitely a hint of Austrian I just heard. Let's go out for the pizza boys, a pizza and a spaghetti and meatballs. I'm on fire damn it, singed off four of my fingernails, you're about to pay for that one. Oh, 
Boys, I'm not a human bionicle. I'm taking mass amounts of fire here. Help me out. Flame trooper taking a whole mag. Jesus. The only way to ensure that my men were safe was to blow up the gun itself. This guy literally just tried to bayonet me through steel plate armor. <laughs> well, no prompt. Let's try frag out. Nah, I'm betting that's the dynamite. Let's bust out the dynamite. About to blow this place up like the 4th of July. Oh, I was trigger happy. Let's get out of the way here. That explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. No objective. Disable the anti-aircraft gun. We will continue up this mountain. Sniper! Damn, my boy got his wig pushed back. Yeah, we're still pretty agile with all this steel-plated armor on. She just escaped that frag there. Damn, man sounded like he stubbed his toe on the corner of a coffee table. <laughs> Location acquired. Clearing hostiles. I take down the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Mateo's unit below me, so I do the only thing I can. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. Dang, Luca, you're an honorable man doing all this to protect your brother. Respect. I'm giving him house, sir. And we go out for a pizza after. We had no reinforcements. If those men were killed, our advance would be completely halted. And I would have lost my tail. Here's a tip, ADS minimally when you're firing this thing. For me personally, it's easier to see without ADS. -ing. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Yeah, take a couple fighters down too. Just for shits and gigs. Huh, 
No, Matteo, my brother. Were you still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh, God. Matteo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. I had to find Matteo. He could have been anywhere. No objective. Search for our brother Matteo. Hey, I'm just going to throw this out here. Random thought. Doesn't Luca kind of sound like Puss in Boots from Shrek? <laughs> through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. New objective, defend Alpini outpost. <laughs> Can't shake them off me. They're everywhere. Oh, my spleen! Boys, back me up! Boys, boys, that's your captain. I need a couple morphine shots. I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Boys, I've lost a lot of blood. Someone get a stretcher up this mountain. Get me out of here. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Same objective, defend Alpini outpost. Dig in, boys! Hold the line! Not feeling this LMG, boys. It's got too small of a mag. Gotta reload every millisecond. Not to mention, it's got the fire rate of a damn Uzi. No, oh, armored support, huh? Happy Hanukkah.
think I spotted some weapon crates in the actual outpost. I'm thinking about swapping this LMG out when uh, it's a little more quiet. Boys, boys, I lost a pinky toe. But hear me, don't falter. Uh, boo. Boo. Boys, I can see the light. Pull me away. Boys, I don't want to startle you, but my large intestine's hanging right out of my body. Don't look. Oh, hello. Give me a sniper. Ah, oh, it's the Mount Dragon. Not a top tier sniper. We're taking it. Sheer force of will, we took out their firepower. The lodges were safe, and I had to move on. You never said, was Mateo in those lodges? No. The men said his unit had made it further up. Huh, yeah, my point exactly. The Mandragon. It's got no power. He should have been in his grave. No objective. Search for our brother Mateo. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll tell you where Mateo's not. He's not that way. Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. But I could hear Italian yelling. I knew my friends were trapped. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among ghosts. After a while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. We had to have made it to the fort. Yeah, we didn't cover these bodies too extensively there, Luca. About two dozen of them. You sure one of them's not him? Any other battlefield sniper, that's a headshot kill. I'm dropping this piece of junk. Some of the things I saw to Zoro. I had to convince myself I wasn't dead. What? Fire. Fire everywhere. You know what fire is good for, Mateo? A brick of in the pizza. Oh yeah, he dropped one piece of junk for another piece of junk. Get this thing out of my hands. There were two ways into the fort. I could either go through the underground tunnels or above ground by circling around the back. Not through the front? I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. New objective. Search for Mateo inside the fort. I believe we can enter underground here, but nah. We're going up in the fort to raise hell. Might be an unpopular opinion, but this is the best multiplayer map in Battlefield 1. Change my mind. Oh my gosh, carved his spleen right out. What? Mateo! Mateo! I need to make it home for a supper. It looks like we are entering underground. Oh, hello! Not sure how I got lit on fire right there, but hey, stop, drop, and roll.
Oh shit! Caught me at a bad time, brother. And that's definitely a flame trooper. I just walked right past and into his flame. I'm now on fire. And we have made it topside. Mateo! Mateo, where art thou? New orders, clear the Austrian horn. Good God. He was charging me. That man wanted me dead. Mateo! Mateo, I call out to you. Is it your brother? Final target located, but she's got thick ass armor. They got me. Break my sternum. Good thing this guy's Stevie Wonder. Couldn't hit anything. I don't know how. I just knew Mateo wasn't there. Austrian horn clear. No objective. Find Matteo. I still think about that field. Every day. He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Very short war story there, but still incredible. And with that, I want to thank you all for tuning in to Walkthrough HQ. Hopefully you found this walkthrough helpful, comedic, or a bit of both. Thanks, guys.